is the biggest voting day of the year for the Honolulu City Council. And besides selecting a replacement for former council member Charles DeJoux, members will vote on the city's $1.8 billion budget. Now, budget that for the first time calls for two different property rates for homeowners. KITV4's Denby Fawcett joining us now. And Denby, this new non-occupant property tax rate sounds like it's becoming pretty controversial. Yes, it is. The council members are expected tomorrow to approve the new tax rate for these homeowners who don't live in their properties. But critics say the new rate eventually will impact thousands of Oahu renters. Mayor Mufi Hanneman pushed for the new rate for homeowners who have multiple dwellings. The new tax rate to be voted on tomorrow for non-occupant homeowners is $3.58 per thousand dollars of property value. That's 16 cents more than the current 342 rate for homeowners who occupy their homes. Alan Lamb, who manages 110 Oahu rentals for owners, says the tax rate is likely to be passed on. Eventually, the tax will have to be passed on to the tenants uh, in the form of a higher rent. Since property valuations are lower in the down economy, most non-occupant owners will be seeing unchanged property taxes this year or even lower taxes. But that's not guaranteed in the future. Ryan Henry, who rents a varsity circle walk-up for $1,100 a month, worries about the increases. It's pretty difficult, um, you know, just making it barely by month by month but um yeah so it's quite difficult so if the uh rent here gets raised it's gonna i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do the impact is that we are taxing the very people who cannot afford their own shelter at a much higher property tax rate Mayor Hanneman initially wanted an even higher tax rate for non-occupant owners, but says the rate the council will vote on tomorrow is not that high for non-occupants. When you look at it at the end of the day, it's a very small tax increase that's going to show on their bill. So they shouldn't have to pass on an exorbitant rent to, uh, rate to the renter. The mayor says in the future there can be legislation for tax credits and other breaks to help renters. Council members tomorrow are expected to approve a tax break for so-called so Ohana dwellings. It's a one-time $100 credit for residents who own two dwellings on a single lot and live in one of them. Denby Fawcett, KITV4 Island Television News.